Good afternoon. Thank you all for coming to the University of Arizona College of Medicine in Phoenix. We're really excited to be here today to give you a little bit of a preview of an announcement that we have to make, which is big news for this campus. Uh, we've uh, been growing a lot on this campus, you've seen. We've had a lot of activities. We just had our uh, third commencement on Monday and graduated a, a, a class. We've got a new class coming in July. Um, but for this announcement today, I'd like to first introduce the University of Arizona President, Ann Weaver Hart. Thank you. <laughs> you notice how carefully, how carefully we have included Phoenix and the U of A in recognizable form for, your, for the backdrop for all the photographs. Thank you for coming today. Uh, this is, as Judy said, a, a wonderful opportunity for us to announce the next phase of a tremendous initiative begun uh, in part by the mayor and by the city of Phoenix in investing in the future of our community in the biosciences. And we are thrilled to be able to move forward with our commitment to collaboration and partnership as we announce this new building. But I do want to make sure that you all know that we wouldn't be here without the tremendous support of Mayor Stanton and the city. This exciting new building will help us move forward in the biomedical sciences. And you're going to hear from a few people who can talk with you a bit about what that means. But it will set up a, a setting for our ability to bring together partners who create great ideas in a building flexible enough for them to be able to use those creative energies to design the future. <coughs> and so what we are calling the Biosciences Partnership Building is named to capture that spirit of tapping into the creativity and the great ideas of our leading bioscientists at the University of Arizona and our many partners uh, here in the greater Phoenix area and our business and private partners to, to make it possible for us to help design a brighter future moving forward. In this building, partnerships will be forged in which our scholars and researchers will be asked, looking for the answers to some pretty daunting questions. Uh, those of you who kindly covered our Never Settle presentation late last November, where we described the University of Arizona's commitment to answering the critical questions related uh, to health care into the future, know that we have made a very specific commitment to health disparity questions, population health questions that increase access and quality while reducing cost, personalized medicine, which captures the whole notion of uh, from the genome and proteomics into the, the big data answers that we're looking for to help personalize medicine, and with a very special area of expertise in the neurosciences. And we recently held a wonderful topping off ceremony for our fantastic uh, outpatient clinical uh, translational research and treatment center that for the, the University of Arizona's nationally recognized uh, cancer center here in this area. This is critical and central to the core plans of the Never Settle commitment at the University of Arizona as we move forward. It will advance the interests of healthcare. It will nurture the best new science and the translation of that science into specific treatments. It will provide a setting where partners can find ways to increase not only our effectiveness, but the, the economic development of our broader community through tapping into the biomedical sciences and the biosciences. And it fits completely into the biosciences roadmap, which has been a commitment of our broader community uh, for over a decade. I do want to emphasize that the scholars and researchers at the University of Arizona are already among the pr most productive in the nation, averaging among our grant active faculty over $390,000 per year in external dollars that they bring into our state and community. At the same time, uh, the number of square, assignable square feet they have in order to be that productive is 11th out of 15 among our peers in the research community. So we will be adding to that capacity with this new building that provides a setting for them to achieve those, those tremendous outcomes. 
This space is critically important to us. We're thrilled that it's going to be here on the biomedical campus. We're thrilled about the investment that it represents on the part of both the city uh, and the university, and also, frankly, with the investments that the state of Arizona made with the speed bonds and other funding mechanisms that we can bring together to make a tremendous effort like this possible. And so I want to uh, close my remarks by emphasizing to you how incredibly excited I am about this partnership, about the whole notion that biosciences are advanced when partners come together with the best creative minds in the field. And again, thank Mayor Stanton for being here today, but also for his absolutely steadfast support for us over the years. So thank you. All right. Well, thank you, Dr. Hart, uh, very much for those kind words and for you personally uh, being here and for your steadfast commitment to ensuring that University of Arizona represents not just the best in Tucson, but continue to make very, very important investments in the Phoenix metropolitan area uh, as, uh, as well. Dr. Hart and I served together on an important regional economic development planning effort. And one of the other members of that committee said it was nice to have Dr. Hart uh, on that committee because it was nice to have the interests of Tucson represented on the committee. And I had to correct them. I said, Dr. Hart's in involvement in a leadership capacity in terms of economic development in this region has nothing to do with U of A's presence in Tucson. It has everything to do with the significant investment that the University of Arizona has made in Phoenix uh, in uh, this region. And we're full for partners in that effort. That was a smart investment by the university, and that investment continues uh, to pay uh, off. Uh, and before I just go to my uh, written talking points, I do also say thank you to the Board of Regents. The Board of Regents has been there as we've continued to make these investments on this biomedical uh, uh, campus. And we couldn't have made the decision without the full support of the Board of Regents. And they'll be voting on this effort in the very near future. And I know and I'm confident they're going to vote in a, a positive way, j just as they always have to support us in this effort. Look, wasn't that many years ago? Uh, what was this? Uh, this was a, a closed high school in the heart of the city. Many people wondered what was going to happen on that campus. That was just over a decade ago, if you can, if you can believe it. Just over, look what change, what positive change can come with vision, with collaboration, with partnership, and now with continuing momentum. When Phoenix made its initial investment in the downtown biomedical campus just over a decade ago, we believed that it would pay dividends for years to come, that it would bring in good jobs, high quality care into the heart of our city, into downtown Phoenix, far into uh, the future. Well, we have seen that investment pay off in spades. And a big reason for that is the partnership, the collaboration between the city of Phoenix with the University of uh, Arizona. And that partnership, that friendship, that collaboration has grown even stronger under the leadership of President Ann Weaver uh, heart. And I'm inc incredibly grateful for her, for believing in me, for believing in the city of, of Phoenix, believing in this region, how important it is to the future of uh, the University of uh, Arizona. I'm proud to be your partner. The U of A opened its doors to its medical school on this campus seven years ago in those historic buildings abutting uh, Van Buren with 24 students uh, per class. It has now grown to over 80 students in each class. Just a year and a half ago, the Health Sciences Building, where we are today having this important announcement, opens its door, and you can see what a spectacular facility it is. Not just because of the world-class education that goes on this building. Uh, this building has rightfully won some major architectural awards and will continue to do so. It is spectacular and beautiful. Just two months ago, the University of Arizona, with the leadership of Dr. Hart, announced that uh, its Valley MBA uh, program was moving on into downtown Phoenix as well, which would give business students and medical students unique opportunities to partner on uh, exciting projects, U of A, Eller College of uh, Management. And of course, working in partnership with St. Joseph's Hospital, the U of A will open one of the top cancer centers in the country, one of the few comprehensive cancer centers uh, in the country. Phoenix is a partner at the effort, and you can see it's a beautiful day, and right to my right, your left, uh, mayors love to see cranes in their city, and that is a beautiful crane, and that's going to be a spectacular uh, a building 
uh, the best of the best, two of our best institutions, St. Joseph's, U of A, City of Phoenix, partnering uh, together. And we're here today, today to talk about the next steps in our continuing emergence as a bioscience leader. The next step is constructing this bioscience partnership building. It's going to be a marvelous 10-story, 245,000 square foot academic and research center. I hope I got the square footage right. If not, Dr. Hart can uh, appropriately correct me. It will mean more lab space for U of A and give them even more to tools to lead the way on neuroscience and cancer research and put an emphasis on health care uh, outcomes. It's incredibly important that we keep the momentum going on this campus. This decision of the City of Phoenix to make research and science and medical education and bioscience, personalized medicine, one of the key components for economic future is best represented by everything going on on this campus. And it's important that we keep the momentum going. And today is about partnership, collaboration, and momentum, keeping it going. It is great for Phoenix. To have this kind of research and health care available to our community is so valuable for our quality of life. And on top of that, this facility will produce 500 construction jobs, 360 permanent jobs that are exactly the kind of high quality jobs, high paying jobs, research jobs that we want and need here in the heart of Phoenix. So we're going to go over some more of the details where we're getting in this project fully funded. So as you've already heard from uh, Dr. Hart, I think we're going to announce some of the researchers that are here. They're going to be doing research uh, in this building, and then we'll take uh, any questions that you might have. I'm a very proud mayor, an excited mayor. Dr. Hart, thank you for this decision to make this investment in the heart of the city. Let's keep the momentum going. Judy. Thank you. And uh, actually, we chose this room because the site where the building will be built is just outside this window. So if you look out the window, you'll see the exact site where we will build this building.